welcome back as you guys can see we've still got a little bit of ways to go in our still life in here but we're coming along pretty good at this point we've got our wine bottle made we have our ramekin made and the next thing we're going to do is actually bring in our wine glass so I'm going to bring that into Max the same way that I brought my image for my wine bottle in I'm going to bring in the image for my wine glass I'm going to put it in this front viewport right here so let's get started first thing I want to do is I'm going to come back inside of Max in here I'm going to click into my front viewport and I want to hit the alt plus B key and then I'll open up my view background my viewport background menu and I'm going to say files let's go back to the desktop and let's see where is it here nope there it is so I've got my wine glass I want to make sure that my wine glass that this image matches I want the aspect ratio to match the bitmap and what I mean by that is and you know we've done it before with our wine bottle but I want this I want the image to kind of fit I want the, or the viewport I want it to really fit the image so I don't want to I don't want to distort my image in any way and by choosing match bitmap it'll bring my my image in the exact way it looks in the actual photograph without messing with it in any type of way so the thing that I want to do to this I want to come in here and I'm going to grab these guys and I'm going to hit W to get my translate tool just move this guy over click on him and move him over too next thing I'm going to do is come back in here and go to my create panel make sure I'm in geometry mode and once again I'm going to come in here and get a cylinder so I'm just going to drag this cylinder out let go of the mouse button and then once I let go I can pull up the height of my cylinder and then click one more time to end off making that cylinder and remember I want to hit Q I want to hit Q so I can end process alright so I need to get my translate tool so I'm gonna hit W on the keyboard get my translate tool I'm gonna move this down get my scale tool I'm gonna scale this up only on Y so I'm only scaling it straight up and I'll scale this out a little bit I'm gonna scale it out from the center so I'm scaling it on X Y and Z and I'm gonna scale this down on Y a little bit and that should be the size of my glass and I can see the size of my cylinder in the top view and in the left view and even in perspective I can see what my current what this looks like currently which I think it's pretty close to what we want which we're good alright so let's zoom in here in my front view in my front viewport I'm gonna hit alt plus W so alt W and that'll maximize my viewport and I'm gonna make sure that I have my cylinder selected I'm gonna hit W to get my move tool and then I'm gonna right click on my selected cylinder and that brings up my quad menu and what I want to do is I want to come in here and choose convert to and I'm going to choose convert to editable poly and just click on that guy and you can see once again just like what we did with our wine glass I now have an editable poly and I have vertex mode, edge mode, border mode, polygon mode and then element mode and if you remember from the last video if I use the one key on the keyboard that's vertex mode the two key is edge the three key is my border the four key is my polygons five key is the element and then the six key goes back to the top level you'll see this thing gray out so I want to go into vertex mode right now so I'm gonna hit one to go into vertex mode I'm gonna grab these vertices and just pull all these up in Y so you see I'm just clicking and dragging over all of these vertices select them all and I'm gonna hit R to get my scale tool and just scale these out a little bit grab these guys right here I'm gonna scale these out some and then I'm gonna grab these down here and I'm gonna scale these in and I'm gonna hit the W key so I can get my translate tool and just kinda of move these guys up 
Did the same thing here. I'm going to move these guys just up a little bit. And the ones right here, I'm going to scale these in. And I'm going to zoom in a little bit. So I'm going to hold down Control Alt and use my left mouse button to zoom into my viewport. And I'm going to come back in here and select these and kind of tighten this up a little bit. Get my move, my translate tool and move these down. Got this sitting right here. Let's bring this down to right about here. And actually, I can see I'm going to have to go back and do some fine tuning because my glass has some other shapes to it that I want to capture. So I'm gonna, for right now, I'm going to do this. Now I'm going to come over here in my edit menu and I'm going to go down to edit vertices and I'm going to go down in here until I find the slice plane. So I'm going to click that, spl that um, slice plane, turn it on, and I'm just going to move that plane and you can see I can move it just like I do anything else. So I'm going to move my slice plane like right about here and I can either come here and click on the slice button or I can come here and click on the slice bl on the slice uh, button. It works the same way no matter which way you do it. So I'm going to come here and say slice and it'll cut a brand new row of vertices in and I'm going to come right about here and I'm going to do that again. I'm going to say slice and then I'll turn off my slice plane. Come back and select these vertices, get my scale tool and kind of scale this in so this matches grab this and kind of scale this in and I'm going to grab these guys right here and scale those in just a tiny bit and then I'm going to hit Alt W to come out of excuse me maximize vertex um, viewport mode rather and I'm going to look at this in perspective and I can see I've got a pretty decent wine bottle I still need to do some stuff to this so I'm going to hit 4 on the keyboard so that I go into polygon mode and once I'm in polygon mode I'm gonna use my bevel settings so instead of clicking on the little tool the little bevel button I'm gonna, click on, I'm gonna click on the settings button right next to it so I'm gonna click on that button it's gonna bring up my bevel menu so I can use this to adjust the height of my bevel So I'm gonna push it up just a little bit and then I can adjust the outline of my bevel so I can adjust how the shape of that bevels in so I'm not going to hit OK, I'm going to hit Apply and Continue because this time I'm going to take this guy and let's zoom out on my front viewport right here so hold com I'm going to hold down Control Alt and zoom out or like I talked about before if you have a scroll wheel on your, key on your mouse then you can use your scroll wheel to zoom in and out so once I'm in this view I'm going to bring this down and then I'm going to push the outline out and what I'm looking at right here I'm looking at let's just maximize this so I'm going to hit Alt W to maximize it and zoom in so what I'm looking at are the polygons that I'm making on the inside of this so I've got this down like halfway and I'm going to come in here and say apply and continue and then once again I'm going to change the outline change the height so I'm kind of just mimicking what the outside of the modeling looks like and I'm gonna hit apply and continue again and I'm gonna leave the height where it is but I'm gonna bring the outline in so this bevels at the bottom and then one more time I'm gonna bring this height up change my outline right about there and then bring this up just a little bit alright now that I have that I'm gonna come in here and say OK and that was my last one I'm gonna hit Alt W to unmaximize my viewport and when I look inside of my glass I can actually see that I now have an interior to my glass now I need to do the same thing down here on the bottom if I click on the bottom of my wine glass I'm gonna use the bevel command once again and I'm gonna look at this in I'm gonna look at this in my front view to make sure this is not doing anything crazy down here. So I've got that going on. And I can change my height. Remember this is my height. So the first thing I'm gonna do is push my outline out, give myself a little bit of height, 
push this out just a little bit because I want to bevel this out. I want to apply it again. And I'm going to bring the outline of this one in. I want to apply it again. And I'm going to bring my outline in a little bit more. And bring my height a little negative. And then I'm going to apply this one more time. And that I think is good enough. And then I'm going to hit OK. So now you can see that I actually have my wine glass. It's pretty formed out. It looks pretty good. Now it's not completely smooth and we're going to fix that. Once we finish all of our modeling, we're going to actually go back and fix the um, the low poly look of this and give it a little bit higher poly count. And the next thing we're going to work on actually getting done is my corkscrew. So I'll give you guys a little bit of preview of my corkscrew so I can get that guy to open up. If you see this, well, let's see if we can. There we go. There's my corkscrew. So the next thing we're going to be working on is getting my corkscrew together. So I'm going to get my corkscrew and get this nice little helix going on here. And um, we'll do that when we come right back after this.